Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today we will talk about the set wobbling issue, what some printers do have. Here especially I talk about how I solved my wobbling on the set spindle on my Adlery X2. Have fun watching the video. The aim is to bring the poor legs and those, the spindles, into a relaxed position. To do this, the x-axis is moved all the way down to the roaming positioning. And then slightly loosen the screws and the button of the housing, which are fixed again the portal legs. The portal legs are now in a relaxed initial position and can be reattached via the screws this can avoid stress on the spindle and the resulting wobbling movements. Take place here of course at most at a tenth, but rather in the hundreds of a millimeter range. To be able to explain the next step a little better, I have put a measuring clock on the spindle and attached it to the carrier. Pay close attention to the zero point position which I have marked with an arrow. In the next step, I will now move downwards to the homing position and take a look now how this pointer changes. This small and fourth movements are only the threads, but look at the large fluctuations and you can already see how far this deviates from each other and here I actually have a deviation from start to the end, about 0.51 millimeters. That's quite a lot, and that's only one side. So here I thought I had to change something, otherwise it won't work. I just loosened the screws shown here, one after the other, in two steps. First I loosened the screws which the motors are fixed directly to the gantry to loosen the whole thing a little bit. After I was loosening the motor itself. Then I moved the set axis back down to the homing position to achieve a clean alignment on the gantry. In the next step I position now the motor without exerting any force so that I can fix it in this position if possible. Just to be sure, I checked if the spindle still has enough play in the guide and now we look how much the tolerance is left. Compared to 0.51 mm before, so the variation is reduced by the half, that's already a good start. I did the same now with the other spindle as you can see here. I think quite well the whole action worked on my printer. The left test print I have carried out before the adjustment of the portal and the readjustment of the spindle or the motors. The white printout I have carried out after completion of this work. Here is a really clear difference, in my opinion, recognizable. One way to reduce vibrations on the portal is to simply take the roll up here of the printer. To do this, simply take the roll down. Pull the cable out of the filament sensor. This one is not longer used anymore with this solution. Instead, pull this part up here, which is a printout you can find on Thingiverse. Very simple and easy to print. It will be inserted into this holder where the filament roll holder was before and simply supplied with a PTFE tube. Depending on the thickness of this PTFE tube you will use, it may be necessary that you have to warp a little bit of tape around it so you can't pull through freely anymore. 
next comes the roll. I've already prepared this a bit on two feeds which you can stick on. The files I put in the video description. These are super easy to print and very little material is needed. The roll will be simply placed next to the printer, preferably crosswise. Feed the filament through the PTFE tube and place it into the extruder. That's it. Who is now afraid that the tensile forces can be too strong due to the bending, that it come to problems during extruding? I can tell you, at least from my experience, you can absolutely calm down. I have already printed in this way TPU and if something could cause problems, it would be of course flexible filaments because this would be longer under tension if actually the tension would be too heavy. And that was not a problem at all. So you can see the quick and dirty variant. It is not absolutely perfect and it will not completely eliminate all problems depending set wobbling can occur, for example on X2. But I think for most cases this will be, it will be completely sufficient. If, of course, the spittle is totally bent, the gantry legs are completely wrapped, or something is wrong on the top of the gantry, somewhere an assembly error has taken place on the factory, then you probably won't get it right with this solution here. Usually, however, it is only a fine or finest adjustment in this range of hundreds or tens of a millimeter to really eliminate the wobbling completely or at least to get so much under control that is really only more or less visible under a magnifying glass. I thank you very much for watching the video. If you like the video, let me a like here. So I say goodbye and wish you happy printing. See you next time.